All right, chip of the day. This is an inter interesting one. It is a GSC-0355. It is a 2.15 uh, gigahertz, so 2150 megahertz, 90 degree chip hybrid coupler. Um, and what this does is there is this package and it's teeny tiny. Okay, so this thing is, this is a, there's three in there, right? These little, these little guys. Um, and uh, they are tiny little package. There's an input and two outputs. And then one that says isolation, which I, there's nothing there. Um, so you can send the signal through and you'll get a zero degree phase shift out of one of them. You'll get a 90 degree phase shift out of the other one. So it'll, it'll take your incoming signal, it'll split it and send it out. But one is phase shifted by 90 degrees. All right. Um, let's see here. Ceramics, uh, nickel tin plating, uh, 200 watt power. Oh man. That's, I didn't expect that. 50 ohm system works from 20, 20, 2, 2.1 gigahertz to 2.2 gigahertz. Insertion loss 0.2. Um, let's see here. Isolation, blah, 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 blah. Phase balance, 90 degrees plus or minus two degrees. That's pretty accurate for its phasey thing. Uh, and in order to use one, you would need to lay out a PC board um, because this is ground and then there's these little edge contacts and if you just try to use a regular proto board everything's going to short out it's not going to work trust me i tried <laughs> i ruined one of them um i did find a way to do it though i'll show you that but uh yeah so i don't really have a good way of demoing this because uh you would need a four port network analyzer that runs at 2.2 gigahertz and look at the in out phase and you could look at all of those things um, but I don't got no I don't got no such thing uh, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fake it so this is made by the company I've never heard of before uh, Shoshin uh, Electric Company Limited all right Ross compliant <laughs> all right um, so yeah, let's go take a look at, uh, how I hooked one up. I'm kind of faking it. Well, this is my construction. <laughs> it was quite difficult. I'm using this weird prototype PC board that I found once. Um, and, um, the part has the four corners and then it also has a ground in the center. You really need to lay, you, you need to have laid out a PC board to use this part correctly. And I don't have a layout. So what I had to do is I had to put an insulator underneath the part so everything wouldn't short out to the board. So there's a very, very thin layer of solder mask under the part. Um, and that kind of floats the part up by, a, you know, a, a maybe a thousandth of an inch or something. And then um, I have some uh, SMA connectors going to three corners, uh, input and two outputs. And then because I don't have that bottom contact, which is the ground reference, I've put copper braid. So I have copper braid soldered to the, to the top of the part. And then that solder braid also connects to all of the uh, all of the SMA connectors. So it's ugly, but I think it gets the job done. All right, I've got a, a one gigahertz signal coming into the uh, device and I'm looking at uh, output one, output two of the 90 degree phase thing. They're not quite 90 degrees out of phase, but that's because I'm at 900, I mean at 1000, uh, 1000 megahertz instead of 2000 megahertz where the part is designed. And so this is going to be a bit of difference. Now I'll show you that um, by changing the frequency lower. So let me let me make sure I'm on the right thing here. Yeah. So here's 900. Here's 800. Seven, six, five. So uh, you can see that the phase is shifting, and amplitude is sort of shifting too. But I can't do it. I can't 
show this demonstration at 2000 uh, megahertz because my scope only goes to 1000 megahertz. In fact, it's, it's, quite, it's quite interesting. Let me, um, let, me, let me go up. I'm gonna increase the frequency and right away it's starting to fall off, right? And then it'll just stop working. It stops working at uh, uh, 1090 uh, megahertz. Yeah, in fact, right around 1050, it's gone, right? So it is a, it's only a one gigahertz scope, so I can't go any further than that here. And I'm not, also, I'm not quite sure how to demonstrate the 90 degree phase angle because my, um, I don't have a four port network analyzer that goes to 2.2 gigahertz. So <laughs> that would be the right way to do it, but I don't have that material, that, 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 that equipment. So this will have to suffice, but basically you can see that the device does provide some type of phase shift. It's going to be dependent on frequency, um, but that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to do this phase shifty thing. Okay, that was tip of the day, these little guys. Uh, they be, like I said, they be, they be teeny tiny. And uh, you can kind of use them upside down, but the printing would get in the way. But as far as the, the metal, it's okay. But the printing would get in the way. It wouldn't make good solder contact if you tried to try to solder from the top. So they need to go, they need to go print side up. Anyway, that was a uh, GSC-033R.